What a lovely day inside my house. Let's bake some more. Welcome back. It's really good to see all of you today. We had this idea recently to try to make pretzel bites and we were actually gonna make them over the weekend and I was like, I was ready because pretzel bites to me seem like a real weekend food. And since we're all stuck at home and every single day and night is blending together into this amorphous, confusing blob of life that we're all living, might as well be a weekend right now. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's a weekend today and tomorrow it'll be a weekend and in a couple days it'll be a weekend and if, whatever day you're watching this, happy weekend because it's Friday, it's 35 p.m. Welcome to my lesson on time, space, and calendars. I'm losing it. My glasses are dirty, but I'm not gonna clean them uh, because I have more important things to do. What are those more important things? Well, use some of this yeast. Yeast. We recently bought this. It came very, very long after we purchased it, but that's, you know, we're just happy we got some yeast because not having yeast right now is, is pretty devastating, honestly, because all I, I want to do, like the rest of you, is fucking bake. So we got our hands on some yeast. I, I just said, you know what, let's make this pretzel bites adventure into a video. Let's, I want to bring you along with me, okay? So you can try it over the internet and you can watch me eat it and you can watch me struggle and create a big old mess because I'm not judging, but that seems to be your thing. You like watching me make a mess. So here we are again. I mean, I, I don't know why else you'd be here. So we will be needing a lot of things. I'll link the recipe as usual, but just to name a few, you're gonna need some white rice flour, all-purpose flour, baking soda, baking powder, salt, olive oil. I'm done naming things, okay? I got tired of it. So if you wanna know all the ingredients, you can look into the description where I put the recipe, but we'll also be making our very own nacho cheese sauce. Nacho. For real, we're gonna be using cashews and nooch, as well as some jalapeno and jalapeno brine and salt and pepper. We're gonna make that in the Vitamix. That should be kind of later on. But the first step we have to get going right now is activate the yeast, okay? We need to push the button and activate the yeast. So let us grab a bowl. Take a last sip of coffee. Listen to the pitter patter of dogs run across the whole entire house. And let's get started. All right, we're gonna cut open our packet of yeast. This is like a solid brick, dude. Oh, it's vacuum sealed, that's why. Okay, not anymore, it's not. So we're gonna take two and a fourth tablespoon of our quick acting yeast, so Sorry, teaspoon. There's a difference there. Okay, we'll do one, two, and a fourth. Easy. And now we're gonna take one and a fourth a cup of water. This is actually perfectly warm. I heated this a little while ago and now it's nice. We're gonna place the warm water with the yeast. That's one cup. And here's a fourth. We'll do a quick little whisk here just to get it all kind of loosened up and mixed around. And we are gonna now let this sit for five minutes. So set this aside. And while that is doing its thing, let's get our stand mixer, Senor Big Red. And we are gonna take all of our dry ingredients, I believe, yeah, all of our dry ingredients, except for our baking soda. This is our baking soda. We're gonna use this for our water bath, which is how we're gonna, I guess, boil the pretzels. Let's take all of our dry ingredients and toss it in the bowl so we got some Flour, we got some potato starch, tapioca starch, some xanthan gum. All right, so we want this to get all completely mixed together um, so that when the yeast is done chilling, which I haven't put a timer on it, but I think we're about three minutes in, uh, we're gonna add this into the dry mix as well as our olive oil. Okay, this looks nice and mixed. All right, so uh, it is now time to add our apple cider vinegar as well as our olive oil into our stand mixer to complete the wet and the dry as well as our yeast. But before we do that, I'm gonna combine apple cider vinegar with olive oil just because it's gross. Look how weird that looks. It's just like floating. It kind of just looks like an egg actually. <laughs> it's just kind of weird. I'm glad I did this experiment for science. Okay. 
Okay, one last thing before we start mixing, I'm gonna uh, add some water to our powdered egg substitute for baking, and this will complete all of our dough ingredients. Let's pop this sucker down, lock it, and get to mixing. Okay, well, that was, uh, that was something. Now we're gonna get our hands nice and doughy, uh, but we're gonna first clear off all the dough that's stuck, and we're gonna thank Big Red for his service. Thank you, Big Red, for your service. And over here we have a bowl coated with olive oil spray, because we are actually now out of olive oil. You want some pretzel bites? So bad, bitch. Oh, shit. Look at this dough, bitch. This is actually really nice looking ball of dough here. It's all staying together. It's a good day. Everything's gonna work fine. I'm so excited, dude. All right, so we're gonna take our ball of dough and make it into as much of a ball, cohesive, not breaking apart ball as we can. That part is definitely necessary, do that. And then we're gonna place it in our olive oil coated bowl. This is our pretzel dough. Uh, it also says to coat the top in olive oil. We are out of olive oil, so here comes the spray, which is not technically olive oil. Some other chemical that we'll be consuming. I don't know if we cover this or not. Jenna, do we cover the dough? Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna break a rule here or not, but I think we should cover this. All right, so nothing airtight or anything, but we're gonna take our kitchen cloth and just put this on top, and it says, keep in a warm place for an hour. Now it is time to wait. We wait. Y'all, it's waiting time. In one hour, we'll be back here to remove this sort of clean kitchen cloth and uh, get moving on the rest of our pretzel recipe. I'll see you in an hour. All right, it is now time to turn these things into pretzel bites. I'm already hungry. I've, this has been a long hour of waiting. I really wish we didn't have to wait, but sometimes you gotta wait for things. It's grown in size a good amount. I wouldn't say like an insane amount. It's not like doubled in size and I know it's supposed to get a lot bigger, but we waited an hour and uh, this is how big it is. So it's definitely bigger than it was. We're gonna divide this into six even parts. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take turns with each of the ball of dough and we're gonna roll them lengthwise. Um, you can roll them with your hands, I guess. And you're gonna wanna get them long enough to where you can divide them into 12 pretzel bites. I feel like parchment paper really isn't the best way to do this and I'm kind of annoyed that that's what the recipe suggests because it doesn't seem right. This is gonna have to do. You're gonna take a giant cleaver and we're gonna cut this into 12 pretzel bites. All right, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, five, six. Well, there we go. That's what we have to do five more times, but I don't know, it's pretty easy. I'm not positive, but I feel like we should kind of move fast here. So I'm gonna just get cranking, then we'll boil these suckers. Um, actually, while we're doing this, we should boil our water. We have a pot of six cups of water. And we're gonna turn it on high, and we have our baking soda ready to add to that. But let's get rolling first. We are gonna add our baking soda to the water. By the way, we also wanna have our oven preheated to uh, 450 because we are going to boil them. And once they are boiled, we're gonna put them on our parchment pan and then we're gonna bake them for like 15 minutes. So, but it's gonna be worth it because we're gonna have some fucking pretzel bites, dog. Look at these things. They look so good. They look fluffy and pretzely and bitey. So we're actually just waiting, boil. We're actually just waiting for this to boil. I don't know why it is not boiled, but we must have patience. Rule number like one or two, I forget. Don't worry about it actually, let's just do it now. Uh, another thing that we're out of because things are impossible to get is butter or olive oil as you saw. So we have a bunch of this actually 
that we used to make popcorn a while ago and we really liked it. So it's coconut oil, but it's butter flavored. We're gonna use that to brush the uh, pretzel bites after they've been boiled before they bake because it tells you you should brush them with some melted butter or olive oil and then sprinkle them with some salt. So this is, this is gonna be our, our butter substitute. So I'm actually gonna melt this down and use our brush to make a little uh, buttery art project. And in we go. I'm gonna try to do this in two batches. They're not really boiling, but um, they're bubbling. It's like a, a little baby boil, I don't know. So they're definitely getting a little bit bigger. I don't know what the purpose of this baking soda is. I'm just trying to do what it says. Okay, this looks like nuclear waste, but it's actually coconut oil, so don't worry about that. All right, I don't wanna get them too tough, so I'm gonna take them out now and set them on our parchment pan. Uh, when you put the pretzel bites down on the parchment paper, you're gonna wanna have them be spaced out a little bit. Why do they need to be spaced out? Well, number one, so that they don't cook on top of each other and potentially like melt together in the oven. And number two, these pretzel bites also should be social distancing, okay? So let's be responsible here. All right, so we're gonna put the last of our, that was bad, pretzel bites in the boiling water. Do it really fast and spastically. We are now gonna take our butter and start brushing our pretzel bites. Use however much butter you feel like here. I'm not gonna go super crazy because this is coconut oil after all and I don't want it to give too much of a coconut flavor on these, but I think this is just to keep them like browned and nice and savory. Last little bit before we chuck these in the oven, of course, we have to salt them. These are pretzel bites. They need some sea salt on top of them. Now we bake. So I think like 15 minutes, this is what the pretzel bites look like before we've tossed them in the oven. I'm really excited. They smell good, they look pretty good. We'll see what happens. Now we're gonna do some science, y'all. We need a nacho cheese sauce to go with our pretzel bites because why would you even make pretzel bites if you don't have something to dip them in? So we're gonna put some cashews, some oat milk, just a heaping bit of nooch, good amount of salt. And since we are making nacho cheese, jalapenos, and a little bit of brine as well. I'm gonna turn this into cheese with magic. This is almost nacho cheese yellow. It's pretty yellow, but it tastes fantastic. Now, I want you to get excited. Not, oh, you are excited. Uh, not quite pretzel day level of excited, but like almost there. I will allow you now to take a moment to get psyched up, okay? Give yourself a nice little pep talk in the mirror. Get ready to go because these pretzel bites, they come. of hours later, we have ourselves a nice little tray of pretzel bites and some beautiful nacho cheese. This is the main event right here, these pretzel bites. They look, I mean, not super traditional. They are good. Hello there. Baby! Do you like it? Uh-huh, it literally tastes like pretzels. They look, I mean, I was actually supposed to put like a little indent in them but some of them actually kind of just got it naturally because they were like starting to fall apart. Mm. They do not taste gluten free. Really? Really, really good. Okay, that's all I want to eat. Really? Uh -huh. I'm glad you like them. I'm not underwhelmed by them. I just like, I, I didn't know if I hit it or not. I'm very happy. Yeah? Those are so good. You could sell that at a restaurant. Really? Mm hmm You want an up-close shot? Mmm. Bitch. I'm glad you like it. I could, could eat a thousand of them. You can eat this with nothing. You can eat it with nacho cheese. You can eat it with, they suggested honey. You can like eat it with sweet stuff. I don't care what you do with. 
I was going to eat it. I mean, they look a little off just no, because. They no, they do a little bit. It's okay. But it's fine because I think they taste pretty good. Mm -hmm. I put enough salt on them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Jenna's happy. I'm hot. I've been baking for like three hours. She kicked me. She kicked you? Yeah. You owe her money and you're going to kick her? You're a bully. You're a bully. No kicking mommy. Oh, this is so good. Okay. It's a lot of hot. Uh, well, I think that's a, that's a sign that we did something right. She liked it and she wanted to take some to go. So here are our pretzel bites. I don't know. I think we did it to him. I mean, baking is tricky, man, and I'm not the best at it, but it has a good consistency. I've never even tried making pretzel bites, so I don't know how it's supposed to go, but it tastes good and it weirdly tastes like a pretzel. I don't know how. Maybe it's the texture or something. I do think we would have been better off with regular like Miyoko's butter. I could have done a better job indenting them, but overall, pretty pleased. I definitely think um, while you guys are on your baking journeys at home right now, I think this is definitely a recipe worth going for because worst case scenario, you have dough that you can dip in nacho cheese. Best case scenario, you have pretzel bites. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. I think we did it to them. We have pretzel bites now and they're probably gonna be gone by the evening. So we have some work to do and so do you. Get cooking, these are really good. Definitely recommend it. That's, that's it, that's it, that's all. That is literally all. Hi, Kermit. You know, your sister, she steals money, so she doesn't get a pretzel bite, but you, you, my friend, get to watch me eat one. I'm just kidding, you can have one. Okay, now off the, now off. Okay, now we gotta clean everything. <laughs> pretzel bites, yay.